D2DNY Railroad HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'll be showing you how to access the menu of this device right here. This device right here is the pen or Johnson Control Johnson Control System 450. So how do you access the menu? How do you set it up? How do you change the set points? Because you can see right here, nothing is happening, right? Up, down, nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. Okay, this button right here doesn't show you the set points. You can't change set points from here. Press the menu, see? So how do you access the menu? That's what's gonna happen in this video. So stay tuned for that, all right? Um, this here is a United Cool Air unit. This is also a commercial HVAC. All right, so before we get into that, I want you to go ahead and um, subscribe if you hadn't subscribed. And um, smash the notification icon, the bell icon, and give this video a like. So here are your compressor contactors, one and two, compressor one, compressor two. And um, if I operate a motor with overload, uh, uh, if I operate a motor contactor with your overload and your condenser fan motor contactor with overload. But anyway, that's your transformer right here. It's your circuit breaker right here, low voltage. But anyways, this is not what this video is about. I'm um, just gonna be a quick video regarding uh, the uh, Johnson control or the pen system 450 okay if you got questions regarding this unit leave in the comment section i'll answer them here is a electric duct heater and um, that's what this thing is controlling right now this system 450 is controlling this massive electric duct heater look at that it's massive right you see right here here's the controller here's the scrs there's four scrs one two three four and you can see that they are pulsing away right so they're pulsing away they are they are the scr there's a rectifier switches they're opening and closing all right so anyways let's get into the menu here so one thing you don't want to do is uh take a picture use your your uh camera and scan the qr code and it's going to gives you the uh give you the breakdown for all the acronyms inside the setup menu so I'm not going to go through and explain all the acronyms. I'm going to show you how to get in there. I'm going to adjust the temperature set point. And um, that's pretty much that. But if you take your smartphone and scan here, it's going to... Let me see if I could get my phone out real quick. My other phone. If I could find it. And I'll scan, I'll scan the, uh, the QR code and I'll show you what's going to happen. See that? So once you scan the QR code, if you click on that and open the, and open it in your browser, it's going to bring you to the uh, website for this device right here, and it's going to um, like uh, show you all the menu and um, all the acronyms and exactly how to set it up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to show you real quick how to get in there. And I'm going to change the set point right here. So you're going to press these two buttons right there. Five seconds. One on one thousand, two on one thousand, three on one thousand, four on one thousand, five on one thousand. So five seconds they say, but I just hold it until the menu pops up. And when you're doing that, you gotta make sure that you're actually pressing them simultaneously. Hold them. Kinda here you go. So I'm gonna press the menu right here where you change the set point so I press the right here's my set point and um, I'm gonna go ahead and raise that see what's going on right now I'm pulsing I'm gonna go ahead and raise that so this is where you get into the menu guys and if you want to know what all these acronyms and stuff means like I said just scan the QR code with your phone all right, so I just raised the set point, and now you see amperage is steady on these heaters. 
and um, SCR is no longer pulsing. All right, and let me go ahead and I'm gonna change it again. I'm just gonna lower it even more. I'm just gonna lower it all the way down to like 79, right? So it's pulsing again. Look, no amperage. Just turned off one stage. All right. So it is pulsing, but you can see back on again. So yeah, that's how you do that, guys. If you want to access the menu of this device right here, um, again. It's gonna show you again if you didn't see it before. What you would do, grab your phone, simple as that. You got a smartphone, and your smartphone literally is QR code right there. And you just click, you can see website code open johnsoncontrol.com in Safari. If I hit that, there you go. There's a, there's a, there's a manual, right? easy easy as pie everything you need right here okay so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis Still here, you're special.